Okay, so I'm going to do a quick demonstration. Uh, I just want to walk through uh, what Docs Rank is and show you exactly what it can do and what it can do for you. So, first thing, uh, after you sign up, you'll be emailed a username and password that you can use to log in. And to do that, you just click the login button right here. Mine is pre filled, we'll just click log in. And I'm logged in. The first thing you might want to do is click the logo right here it takes you to home to the home page uh, I'll be having some training videos like this video for example hooked up right here that you can rewatch get bonuses we get all kinds of other stuff that's going to be happening on the home page here docs rank is web based so you should be able to uh, work on it work with it uh, no matter what your operating system is so if you have a Mac that should be just as fine as a Windows which is what I have Okay, next we have the profile page. Uh, here's where you can come in and update your profile information. You can even change your password. You get a password generated for you, but uh, you can reset it here. Just click the button right here to do that. Next, uh, we can submit a document. And uh, something important here I want to know is that you can spin the title of each campaign that you're creating. System recognizes single level spinning syntax. I'll just demonstrate right here what it looks like. Here's just a quick, uh, so you have a quick idea what it looks like. And you can use this format to uh, spin the title, like I was telling you. Uh, I'll just paste that in there. And the same thing with the description. Obviously, you'd want to be more creative than I was here. I'm just doing a demonstration. And then this is what will be used in the RSSP that gets created later on, which I will explain. But it also is the same information that will get used when it is submitted to the document sharing sites. So the more spin option you have in here, the more unique each submission will be. Okay, so next we have tags, obviously keywords. And then here you can put in a URL that will also be used in the description of the document sharing sites when the PDF gets submitted. Okay. It's all very straightforward. If I didn't talk so much, I could probably do this in 10, 20, maybe 30 seconds. Uh, next, we have the categories. Just quickly pick one, a general here. I can select what sites I want to submit to. Obviously, before you can submit to these sites, you want to set them up, which I will explain a little later. But we have the option of uploading our own PDF file. So if you have a PDF file that you generated and that you have on your hard drive, you can just select that option right here and you can upload it and uh, use that one to submit or you can also select the next option if you don't have a pdf file you can select the next option and you can create a pdf file using the pdf creator that we have built in for you so for this demonstration i'm just going to select that one i'm going to hit next and as you can see it redirected me to the pdf creator and here again we can use spin text to uh, spin our content but again, you have some beautiful options of uh, being able to create some beautiful PDF file. Okay. And like I was saying, you can use the same spin text format here as well. Okay. Uh, here in the PDF, you'd want to include a link back to your site, uh, obviously for traffic generation and, and various things like that. But it obviously is up to you uh, how you prefer on using this. But having a uh, backlink within the PDF file is a good way to get uh, some very high authoritative backlinks to your site, as well as get a target traffic to your site if, if and when a visitor lands on this PDF file. Okay. And if you need more information on how to spin the text, uh, there's more information further down on the page here that you can look at. Okay. But because this is just a demonstration, I don't want to be publishing some rubbish. PDF, so I'm not going to be publishing this, but all you would do is click the submit button at the bottom here. Okay, let's move on to set up your accounts, which is where I recommend you start. Just click the My Accounts tab right here, and you can go through each of these sites and set up your accounts with them. It's very straightforward, and it should only take you maybe about 10 minutes to set up all of these accounts. Okay, so it's not, not at all time consuming if you commit a bit of time to it. Okay, next we have the My Submissions tab. And from here you can see all the campaigns that you have created. 
or didn't finish as my last one here, some of the other demonstrations that I did here. If you finished it, you can click here to view the completed report. I'll just open it here for you. Okay, so that's what it would look like. Um, we're still adding new features here, but this is what it looks at at this point in time. Okay, and you also get an RSS feed that includes all the backlinks that were generated for you. And you can, with the click of a button, ping that RSS feed. I'll demonstrate that here. There you go. Tells us it was pinged, which it was. And we could even go ahead and, and share that on Twitter uh, or any of these other social social sites right here. Okay. For these unfinished campaigns, we can go in and uh, create the PDF to finish it, or we can simply just delete it so it doesn't clutter up our page here. There's another super cool feature that we just integrated. It's this global feed right here. And basically what that is, it's a feed that contains the 10 latest campaign RSS feeds from your account. So in this case, there would only be one RSS feed uh, being linked to within this RSS feed, okay? And obviously, these RSS feeds are there to help you get those PDFs indexed, get them crawled by the search engines. In this case, you could totally go ahead and build some backlinks to your global feed and just to encourage search engines to continually crawl that feed and then through that feed, visit all the other feeds that your campaigns would generate. If you have any issues whatsoever, uh, run into any difficulties or simply have a question or have any suggestions on what we could add still, just click the support button right here and uh, drop us a line and we will get back to you as quickly as possible. Okay, the system is very straightforward. It is all, all based on our servers, so it will not be slowing down your websites like some plugins tend to do. And like I was saying before, it is all web-based, so you should be able to access it with any operating system. Thank you so much for sticking with me through this short presentation, and I'm looking forward to be working with you very soon. Bye for now.